Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm here at Maker Faire 2013 with Jerry Ellsworth of Technical Illusions. Now we just saw the demo that you guys have set up inside and you're doing something that I've never actually seen before. Can you explain a little bit about what it is? So what we're doing is projected AR glasses. So augmented reality. Yes. Like the Nintendo 3DS with the little tiles, kind of. Kind of, but the difference is that it's glasses that you wear that project out to a special projection mm -hmm. screen that you, you pulled out on your table. And the screen is very directional so that each person wearing glasses can get a unique 3D view. So we can have 3D characters generated by the computer mixed okay. with real world objects. So the screen reflects the light coming from a projector above my eyes directly back at my eyes? Yeah, so there's two projector modules on here that project out to the surface mm -hmm. and then comes back to each eye. So then there's filtering on the eyes to um, separate the two eyes out. We track the position of the player in this head position, so you can duck down, you can look over the top of these 3D characters that are rendered right on your table. And you can also put real world objects into the space. Oh, into the surface, okay. So it, it kind of reminds me of the chess game from the first Star Wars movie. Yeah, let the Wookiee win. Yeah, exactly. We have a block game in there where you can poke at the blocks and they fly up in the air and fly towards your face and it's, fall down. And... It's not Jenga, but similar to Jenga. Uh, Rick, who programmed it up, called it Jerga. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> um, so where can, I know you're in kind of prototype phase right now, but when people get this, where can they get it and where can they find out more about it? So we're considering doing a Kickstarter for it. We believe it's going to be sub $200 for a starter kit, which gives you a wand, glasses, and a surface. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be mid to late summers when we're, we believe we'll be ready for that. So you haven't actually built games for this yet. We've seen a bunch of tech demos, um, but what's the plan for, for games going forward? So Rick's developed a game prototyping system that people can get in and do um, prototypes with just a few hundred lines of uh, simple code. And, and conveniently, he's, he's right over here. So let's get him in and, and okay. talk, to, talk about some games. Okay, so this is Rick Johnson. Rick, you, you are kind of the developer liaison, I guess, for... Uh... The, the software side. Okay. So what kind of games have you tried? What kind of prototypes have you tried? What's worked really well? We worked with uh, a lot of classic games. We did a, a quick implementation of like Super Mario Bros. from the NES version. The thing we realized early on is that we don't know much about this space. And in order to figure out this space and the type of games that are compelling and the type of games that are not compelling, we came up with this uh, prototyping system so that I can create these experiences in a very short amount of script and that we can watch people play them, watch their reactions, and like, hey, the wall should be taller, so now I can peer around them in this 3D environment, and within a second, I can change it, make it live, and then all of I can watch your reaction, like, too tall, too short, and we can iterate from there. So then if you want to build games with this, I know you can reach out to you guys at developer at, at uh, technicalillusions.com, yep. but what's the, like, what, what's, do people have to know Unity? Is it Source Engine? Is it Unreal? What, what do you need to know? So right now, we're going to do two pathways. We're going to have this kind of scripting environment so that people can do very simple games, experiments, learn about the space, that will be released for free. We're going to also release all the, the APIs that talk to the hardware. And from that point, you can integrate it into Unity or any other custom engine that you have access to those type of uh, environments too. Fantastic, thank you so much, Rick. Uh, this is Technical Illusions. They have a really cool projected augmented reality display, I guess, at Maker Faire 2013. We'll be back with a whole bunch more from Maker Faire all week. See you guys later.